as follows, we present how to install your Ecolet composting toilet to your holiday home. The washroom has a toilet seat and a composting tank beneath the floor. It is important to read the installation manual and look and follow the drawings before you start the installation. Underneath the toilet room you should have a space for the composting tank of at least 65 cm high and preferably 140 cm wide. Make a channel into the bearing ground surface starting from the center of the future composting tank for the liquid exhaust pipe. Fix the ground base support by both ends to the vertical support of the wheels. Put the liquid pan to its place the exhaust pipe is led under the metal band. Lift the composting tank onto the wheels and see that the soft hose at the tank side is lifted up behind the metal band. Sprinkle peat or old compost to the bottom of all compartments. Lift the composting tank to its place, lifting by the wheel axis. From one of the three alternative directions, make an opening into the cover of the tank for the ventilation pipe and an inspection hole on either side of the opening. The spots are already marked. Make the openings. Make a groove of about 3 cm long for the wiring or the ventilation to the side of the inspection hole. Mount the ventilation casing to its place with two screws. Mount the fan to its place with its text facing the pipe and wires running through the groove. Fasten the cover of the inspection hole with two screws. Lift the cover to its place. Mark a hole of the sewer pipe on the floor so it can be opened. The length of the sewer pipe is the length from the cover to the floor surface plus 225 millimeters. Sew so the sewer pipe into correct length. The right depth is 195 mm from the bottom. The pipe is tightened to its place. Holes on both sides are covered with protective caps. If a shower is located in the same space, you can connect the steam exhaust pipe in the ceiling to the back of the seat. Put the ceiling compound under the seat and fix the seat to the floor with three screws. Attach the lid to the seat. Mount the inner shell of the seat to its place. Fix it with four white screws. Finally, remove the protective film. Connect the power cord of the existing ventilator to the power source. Insert the plug into a socket and fix the cabling so that the rotating tank shall not come into contact with cabling. Check that the fan blows the air towards the pipe. We recommend to insulate and encase the ventilation pipe going through the roof. The upper end of the ventilation pipe 
shall be brought above the roof bridge so that turbulence shall not hinder ventilation. The roof penetration should be made waterproof by the black plastic collar tightened with a clamping ring. If there is free height left in the basement, we recommend you to lift the device above the floor to facilitate maintenance.